What's up guys? So I got a brand new video for you today. We are gonna basically just be talking about stuff. This is a discussion video. I've got a few things I want to talk about, a few things that are important. I want to talk a little bit about the future of Revival, what we're gonna be doing these next couple of months. Um, so this is gonna be sort of a talky video. If you don't like those, by all means, this video isn't for you. I do have some important information that's gonna be in the description if you wanna just read that. And then there's also gonna be a new survey. Um, the survey is more just feedback on kind of what you think about this video so by all means fill it out and towards the end of it you can put your username to win a prize um, the whoever wins this giveaway basically at the last question is just put your username in put your username in you will get one hour of testing out God of Wars 2 items so you've seen the first the first video where I talked about the first portion of God of Wars items and then the second one is coming out soon. I'll explain why there's been a delay with that video in this video, so stay tuned for that. But uh, the winner gets one hour to just mess around. If they want to use the scythe, test around with the scythe, they can. If they want to use one of the full melee sets, I'll let them use it. Whatever. But you'll get an hour of that, so if you're interested in that. Um, I'll probably have like a secondary prize as well, like a bond or something. So if you have no interest in any of that, you also can enter, uh, enter for a chance of getting the bond. So... Check that out and any other important information below in the description. But let's get into this video. Let's get into what we have to talk about. So, if you've played the server recently, you'll know that the player count has dropped. I think two weeks ago, we had upwards of of the high 70s. I mean, even a week before that, we I, I don't remember exactly when it happened. But not too long ago, we were at 100 players. And now we're floating around 30. And people are wondering, what's up? Um, if we're aware of that, you know, I, th I think the biggest problem is getting information out there and that's you know that's easier said than done because you're thinking okay just make a video but it's kind of hard to get people to to really sort of participate in, in learning the information a lot of people would rather just be misinformed I, I think most people prefer to just not have any clue what's going on and just go with that I don't know why but that definitely seems to be the case but I'm gonna talk about you know everything that we've got going on you know possible reasons why ways we can fix it etc so most of you guys know me you've been around the channel for a while I think I have a lot of people who have been subscribed since day one or, or, or darn near it and I imagine with revival we have a couple new people so if you're one of those news people this is more so for you I probably you know it's it's known that I have a, a relatively bad reputation within the community or at least I did I, I feel like I've I've hopefully repaired that a little bit um, I've had many servers. I've had, uh, there was La Resistance, Pug Empire, Dark Asylum, Version 1, Hollow Vale, Age of Darkness, Dark Asylum Version 2, which was the last one, and then of course Revival. And they were all kind of bad. I don't think there was a single one that really lasted longer than six months. Uh, whenever we got to these points where it's kind of low, normally I would give up. And that was sort of why I, I had such a bad reputation. Uh, a lot of people thought it was because I was purposely doing it. On, I was doing it on purpose to try to scam donations. That was never the case. I understand that even if that wasn't my intention, that's kind of what happened. So I understand why I had that reputation, and I, I own up to that. And hopefully, I've I've done enough to repair it. But my point is, I've had so many servers, and every single server, when I would make a new one, I would always think to myself, "Did I learn something?" And I always did. I always learned things from the servers. That's why every server slowly got better. Um, you know, it started off with La Resistance, where we just had no clue what the hell was going on. And then Dark Ascent 2, which was pretty good. It was just ownership issues that we could never recover from. Um, but, uh, we'll save that for, an, we'll save that story for another day. But, uh, I always say to myself, you know, I learned something. I've learned, I took, I've learned a lot from that server. I'm going to use what I've learned from that server to help my next one. And the thing that I've learned from Revival is that I learned nothing. Nothing I learned matters. <laughs> Um, it's really interesting. Like, I don't, I don't know. I always thought that everything was black and white. I thought everything with running a server was black and white. If you do this, it will have this outcome. If you do this, it will have that outcome. I thought people would, would, I thought we would have like 500 players because of invention. I thought a, a server with a custom skill, cause, cause I, I've been around private service since 2008, 10 years. And there's really been not a sing. I've, I've never seen a single server that had a good skill. I've seen a couple that had PKing skill, and it, it, it was functional, but it was really just kill a person, get experience. That was it. Like, I've never seen a successful skill. So, when we decided to do Invention, which is really one of those things that kind of kept me going for Revival, that was like the, the key to Revival, was 
was to get invention out. I expected to have like 500 players. Everyone was going to be checking it out. Everyone would want to like look and see this new server or this new skill. Not a single person cared. In fact, I think we lost players. I'm pretty sure we went from like 70 to like 40. So we ended up losing 30 players from invention and no one else gave a shit. Um, and it, it really just comes to like everything I thought was going to happen didn't happen. The things I didn't think would happen happened. So I, 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 everything I, I know about revival and everything I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, all my information moving forward is just kind of like you have to take everything with a grain of salt. So you can look at the player count and go, oh, okay. Is it we're not advertising? Is it we're not producing enough updates? It's, I don't think it's any one thing. I think for every server, not just my own, I think for most servers that have issues, there's never just one problem that can easily be fixed. It's sort of a combination of things. And I think the thing I've learned the most with Revival is that you just, you just kind of have to, you have to take all the information, but you don't know anything. You, you just have that information available, but it means nothing. Anything could change. Uh, for example, what I was talking about, we had, we had, we had 100 players uh, not too long ago, I think it was, I think it was about two, three weeks ago. So it really wasn't that long ago. It was on a Sunday, on a Sunday and a Monday we had ninety plus, and then on that Tuesday we went to fifty. The the, the previous like the, the Saturday before that we had fifty. So we out of nowhere went from fifty players to a hundred, back down to fifty, and I could not tell you why. We uploaded, we, we, I think we put out an advertisement video on a different channel. Obviously, we paid for an advertisement video. If you're not familiar with the concept, every YouTuber you're watching makes videos for money. No one's making any videos nowadays for free except maybe me in these videos. If that's a big shock to you, I apologize. It's not a bad thing. It's, yeah, I don't know if it's a good thing, but it's not a bad thing. It's just one of those things you have to keep in mind. You're being advertised to pick who you subscribe to based on that information. There's some people who do it the right way. And obviously, you'll know who I think those people are because we continue to do business with them. But anyway, so we put out the advertisement video on a Friday and gained nothing. We, no one, I don't think we, it's, it's really hard to tell for sure because, you know, people come and go with, without saying a single word about where they've come from or where they're, you know, why they're leaving. But our player count was roughly the same. And then all of a sudden, that Sunday, 100 players. That Tuesday... 50. And then the next week, Saturday, 50 players. That Sunday, 100 players and then it, it, and then it completely died from there. We haven't we haven't had any, you know, new increases like that. It's just one of those things that kind of proves my point. I have no clue what the hell is going on. I, I it's it, there's a lot of randomness to running a private server. I think that's the thing I've learned the most if I if I can even say that cuz I really don't even want to say I've learned anything at this point cuz it seems like everything I think I've learned is wrong. But it's just random. Like, I, I don't know. I, and I think it, it factors into a lot of things. I don't think it's as simple as just saying, oh, that advertisement was delayed. It took, a little while, it took a little while for people to see it. Who knows if that advertisement helped at all? Who knows if it was the sole reason? I think that when you're looking at a player account or when you're looking at a server in general, there's just so many different factors. So I know we're getting, like, we're at eight minutes and I haven't even gotten to my, my main point. Um, the factors. I think... And there's no surprise that the server has slowed down in updates. If we get to, I mean, if we look at the update list, let me open, let me load it up. So, I mean, if you look right here, we'll just take the month of August. So, we were pretty consistent getting updates out on every single Friday. Um, actually, if you're, when you're watching this video, the update's not out yet. I'll get into that a little bit further. This is going to be a long video, like I said. But I think that the players in game have been asking for certain things. I think there's no surprise about that. People want. PKing back. I don't think people really want to PK. I think it's just one of those things where I don't want to not have things. And if I don't have it, even though if I'm not going to use it, I don't want to be a part of it. You know, it's just like, I, I don't know. I think PKing is definitely important, even if no one does it. I think for certain things like Revenants, you know, somebody was like, oh, you know, there's somebody there, let's go kill him. I think just having that in the back of your mind that I can do that is, is important enough. And I understand that people want PKing, they want hardcore Iron Man mode is another one, they want gambling. And we're like, nope, you guys get Crystal Energy, an update that not a single person's asked for. And the reason for it is simple. Dark, his entire country of Syria, um, doesn't have internet right now. Or at least he doesn't have internet right now. And we're, I'm flying solo. And a lot of those big issues, such as PKing and gambling, he's working on. That's, those are the main two things he's going to do when he gets back. We're going to fix one of the errors with PKing, and then we're going to rebalance PKing so that the defense... Really, in my opinion, the issue is the defense. 
Um, he could look at it and think it's something different, but, you know, we'll go with that for there. Uh, we have a gambling idea. I, I think that uh, one of the problems we've done, or one of the mistakes we might have made, is trying to keep information uh, secret, you know what I mean? Like, we, we try to keep these updates hidden, so it's a surprise when it comes out, but I just don't know if that's the way to do it. I don't know if we've been successful in that. Because I think a lot of people, when they don't see the information, when they don't have it on the update post, or they don't hear about it in game, they just assume we're doing nothing. Oh, that you know the owner, he's you know they're they're releasing Sorcerer's Garden when we want gambling. They clearly don't want they're, you know, they're clearly not listening to us. And it doesn't help that there's a fucking question that says something like, "What is Jamie and Fiat about the Duel Arena?" I don't know why Matt added that. That was a pointless question because it does nothing but make people think that we're never going to have gambling. And obviously, I, as much as I would love to not have gambling, it's going to have to be exist. Um, so that's really just what it comes down to is there's we're sort of flying with one developer right now And it's just been a slow process this last month or so and I honestly couldn't tell you when it's gonna be improved Now that doesn't mean updates don't happen. Obviously, we've got a, an update every single Friday and A lot of it is just stuff that you didn't know you wanted you didn't know you needed Such as Sorcerer's Garden. I, I it's just one of those things where we do different things. I'm the creative designer I create most of the content you're gonna play with and then dark focuses on uh, back-end support, making sure everything functions correctly, the big picture things, the things I can't do. The most important stuff is dark. So when we're in a period where it's just me flying solo, you're going to get Sorcerer's Garden, you're going to get Crystal Energy, you're going to get Automation, you're going to get Raid Dusts. That's just sort of the way it has to be. But I think that that's not as big of a problem as I'm making. I think if we were more vocal with what's going on, what's, what's happening that's good and what's happening that's bad, I think that, that people would appreciate that more so that's one of my survey questions you'll I don't know if you want to fill that out after or before watching this video I have no clue it doesn't matter just fucking do you but um, I think keeping people in the loop more is is what we're gonna try to do so that's kind of what this video is about it's just gonna sort of talk about I want to talk about all of our ongoing projects so while you're seeing this you're probably gonna see this before the updates live because I'm recording this video without updating the server yet uh, so God Wars 2 we're actually gonna have an official release date the 28th of September um, it's not done yet. I'll show you what sort of things need to be done or worked on, and then we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. Um, in terms of actual updates, you get nothing good. Just small mini shit. Um, I mean, you can look at it and see what you want, but it's one of those things where, again, it's not that we don't want to or we don't understand that important updates need to happen. It's just that uh, things are going to be a little slower until dark is back. Uh, so, again, people ask... Why can't we get recoil fixing? Why why is it recoil fixed? I want to go do Zolra and not have to kill the minions, remove the minions, etc. It's it's just one of those things where um, I think not explaining the problems to people is causing a bigger problem. If we just told people, so uh, basically the er er error with re recoil comes down to this code that was added um, in relation to augmented weapons, and that's all dark. I have no clue uh, exactly what the issue is. I don't, I don't specifically know. I just know that this is where the... I'm pretty sure this is where the issue is because this is the only thing that's not in Dark Asylum. That's... that's Dark Recoil worked on Dark Asylum. It doesn't on here. And this is the only thing that's different. And I don't exactly know what, where, or how to change it to improve that. So if something as small as Recoil not working becomes a bigger issue just because, you know, we have to wait for Dark to take a look at it. So... I understand. I'm hearing you guys. Like that's just, that's the main thing I want. I want you to. If you take away anything from this video, it's just that I we're listening to you guys, and we're I'm gonna try to do better about communicating that we're listening to you in the future. So there's recoil. I was looking around with it, trying to see if I could fix it. I'm not gonna give up yet, um, but it, uh, I I'm kind of clueless. So let's talk about God Wars Two. So God Wars Two. Let me. Um, uh, is it? Is it? Let me find it. Uh, so the Saren God Bow. I don't know if you guys even know that that's a thing, but it's going to be Saren. It's actually going to be called Serenic Bow 11708. I don't think it's even coded yet. It's not. But um, so that right there, Curse Goblin Bow, it's going to be renamed Serenic Bow. If you guys wanted to know what it looks like. Personally, I'm a big fan of it. I think it fits the Saren theme, the, the Saren theme perfectly. Um, we're going to make another set of arrows, crystal arrows. Um, and then the, the, the main thing that's sort of holding back the God Wars 2 video that I was going to do, like, I talked about how I was going to upload a uh, second video where I talked about God Wars 2 items. It's this right here. So let me check my bank. So 
So Dark sent me. I'll send you. The, I'll put the screenshots in here as well. Corrupt armadillo chest plate. Throw it on the floor. It is that. I, I've I've somehow fucked up the process. Of of <laughs> like I I don't know what I did wrong. I, I it's just one of those things where he was trying to explain it to me through Skype, and it just I I don't know what I did, but I fucked it all up. It's all bad. So uh, you can kind of see it's black armadillo. That's what we're going for. We're actually going to create. Um, so the logic is Sliske, one of the God Wars bosses, will drop an item that you can use to corrupt some of your other items. So basically, it's just a better version of Armadillo that's black. It should look cool. It does look cool in the screenshots. Let me see if I can find some. So this really probably doesn't help much, but there's the, the top and the bottom. Um, it's essentially done. I just have to... I don't know how to... I don't know how to fucking put it in game. Um, so there's that idea. There is another idea that I'm sort of working on where um, I don't really want to talk about it. I want to keep something secret. I don't think it's important enough to where I have to tell you, but that's why the video's been delayed. It's not because I'm lazy. It's just I don't know how to correctly put in these models. If I wear it, it's a slave body. I, it's, it's, it's just it's bad. It's all bad. I, I fucked it up. I don't know how to fix it. And until I can fix it, I don't want to make that video. I don't want to make the video and be like, okay, I have some great ideas, but I'm not showing them off in this video. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I, I like the idea a lot. I think it's gonna be cool. It looks good. You can just in, just just pretend like that's on my legs over here, um, and just just pretend like it's all gonna look good. And uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of other things, what else is there? There's gonna be a imbued item that is for melee. People have been wondering about that. It will do attack and strength, not defense. Haha. Uh, haven't come up with a name for it yet, but it will be dropped by Sliske. Um, there's sort of a couple of ideas I'm floating around with. Those will be in the video whenever it does come out. Hopefully before the day of release, obviously. It kind of has to be. And I know that there is a release date. And we're going to do... The, I'm going to do everything I can in my power to keep that release date, you know, realistic. But if it doesn't happen, if we're not ready, I'm not going to release the update early. Uh, there's no point. There's no benefit to having a half-assed God Wars 2 if it's just not ready at that time. Um, so the actual bosses and whatnot, let me, I don't want to, I, I, I talked about how I didn't really want to show off mechanics, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do it, fuck it. If you don't want to see it, close your eyes. Let's, uh, let me figure out exactly where to get to this bitch. So this is gonna be Zam, uh, not Zami, it's, uh, Zaros. I'm spelling his fucking name wrong, that's, that's the problem. Um, so the logic is, if you go to... The dude over at Fez, not Fez, uh, Rosala, while he's in game, and buy a uh, war camp teleport. It teleports you to the war camp. You've seen this because my idea was, my original idea was to just add a little bit of God of Wars 2 every update. And so I was sort of like, like leak, you know, it's kind of like hyping people up, but no one cared. I was releasing Easter eggs. I released, like, if you pickpocket from her, you get a book. No one gives a fuck. No, not a single person cares. I don't know why I bother spending so much time on Easter eggs if no one cares. Doesn't matter. I'm going to do it anyways. But, uh, yeah, so you'll come down here and enter the rift whenever the actual boss is live. Or whenever the God, you know, God Wars 2 is live. There'll be some other things, um, but the actual fighting of the boss is similar to... Uh, it's pretty similar to... God Wars 1, it's just they're not in the same location. So this is Actonakos. This is the uh, Zeros boss. It's not 100% done. It's probably like 75% done. Let me kind of um, spawn some items to attack him. So I don't think he has a lot of his mechanics coded. But you can sort of see that he does have some nice uh, attacks. He does have... I don't, I don't want to get into too, too many specifics, because like I said, he... I, 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 I did want there to be some surprises. I just kind of want to show you what we're working on. I don't want this to be a completely useless video. Um, so as you see, I'm not doing any damage. I wonder why that could be. Maybe I need some more gear. I don't want to give you any tips. But this is the first dude. The second one, I can think I can show you a little bit more of. Because um, this one, we can't even damage him without revealing information. Let's bail. Let's bail, and let's get to the next dude, Sliske. Sliske is the one that will drop the, um... I don't want to show you! <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't care. You know what? Never mind. I just... I, I think it's going to be cool. Just just trust trust me that it's going to be cool. Um, I'll show the gear because the gear is important. 
I'll definitely show that gear. That video is going to come the second I can figure out how to get the models working perfectly. You'll see that video. Until it happens, I apologize. I just don't have it for you. So, yeah, I don't want to get into that too much, but uh, we've got things coming. So the next thing I want to talk about is dicing. Um, the, the the gambling method that, that Dark is working on, I can't show you it because I don't remember how he... He has, like, a, a rough version of it set up, but it's going to be pretty cool. It's not exactly dueling. It's something completely different, something custom. And I think that that's, again, one of the problems is people think we're doing nothing. But trust me, we've got something working. You're going to like that. But in the meantime, because I don't know when Dark will be back, uh, what about dicing? Dicing has, exi has existed since day one. It's been in the source. It's just something we've never messed with because we didn't want it. But at this point, I'm kind of leaning more towards having it. I, I sort of have no issues with it. And I think since we have no gambling at all, it could be beneficial. Um, roll dice bag. That thing has... Uh, I just lost. I, I don't know if people do 55, 100. Let me know what you guys think about that. If we should add dicing as something in the meantime. I don't remember if this is clan chat. I think it's clan chat based. We'll obviously have some, some rules and some stipulations. You'll probably see that in the survey. I'll probably uh, include that information, but... Let me know what you guys think about that. I ramble way too much. I have no clue if any of this video is even viewable. I don't know if it's just ram r random incoherent thoughts put together. Hopefully you you took something away from this video. <laughs> um, the main points, just to sort of reiterate, I'm aware that the server is in a position where we wouldn't want it to be. Player count's a little low. There hasn't been great updates. The sort of hype around everything is dying down. We understand that. It's not that we're unaware of it. It's not that we're not trying hard. It's just that pro pro progress is going to be slow. There's just no, there's nothing we can really do about it. Um, you can, I know that one suggestion we get a lot is hire more help. That's just not as easy as you think it is. Because for anyone to actually do anything that matters, like, like I mean, like, they're going to need access to the files. And if we give them access to the files, they have our files. They can just release them. There's no real way to protect ourselves with that. And releasing our actual files would suck. But anything related to your, you know, the player files, it's just out of the question. I, I, it's, I, I, there's no scenario in which we're going to give up that much power to anybody. And unless we like, I, it's, just, it's just hard to find extra help. It's one of those things where it's, it's a nice idea, hire extra help, get somebody to replace Dark while he's away. It's just easier said than done. And I do not want to put my players at risk. So... Uh, in conclusion, God Wars 2 is expected to be released towards the end of this month. Uh, for Halloween, some probably on October 1st, which actually, what's the what's the Friday? It would be... Huh. It'll probably be on the 5th. Yeah, the 5th of October is when the Halloween event will start. And then in the same month, hopefully... Uh, this is one of those things where Dark's going to be coding it, so I'm just kind of sort of talking on what hopefully can happen. Hardcore Iron Man. We're hoping to release Hardcore Iron Man on, um, in October. Just whenever we can. I don't think it's going to be too difficult to code. I think it's really just sort of copying and pasting the modes and then the, the aspect of not being able to die. That part. But that really shouldn't be too difficult. Um, but again, that's dark, so I shouldn't talk for him. But uh, that is the idea there. And then after that, assuming dark is 100% back, I would like to sort of get the comp cave done. I mean, we're almost we're almost nearing two years. We gotta get this comp cape out and released, and all of the uh, requirements and whatnot ironed out. But uh, thanks for watching. Definitely check out the thing below. I, I've probably forgot things that I said I was gonna talk about later that I didn't talk about later. If I did, comment section below. I'll have addressed it. Yeah, this was a, just a terrible idea to make this video. <laughs> this video I should have made one a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, uh, pre precise precise and defined but if you know me you know that that's not me i think my, my my platform day one was make shitty videos and make a lot of them that was my goal was 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 was, was, was quant quantity quantity over quality so yeah you knew what you were getting you knew what you were signing up for when you subscribed to me thanks for watching guys bye